Hey YouTube, I know it's been a while, but I'm back with another video. Uh, I wanted to walk you through a photo shoot that I did with my new truck. This uh, photo shoot actually took place a few weeks ago, and it was actually during a rainstorm. And one thing that I wanted to do was capture this reflection here. I thought it was a cool, cool scene. So let's kind of walk through what I was thinking when I took these shots. So if we come back to the first shot I actually started with a different lens I started with my uh, 105 millimeter Sigma lens and just parked the park the truck behind this puddle was kind of hoping to capture some reflections but due to the distance I was back and the lens compression and things of the image I wasn't getting what I was looking for and you can see here I was kind of playing around with different angles trying to get that then moving up a little bit closer to the puddle um, was able to get a little bit of a reflection but now we're really tight in on the truck and i didn't necessarily like that so again went back flipped the orientation thought hey maybe i can get a little bit more thought i could get a little bit more of the environment in but again i was moving back so i was getting further away from that puddle so i actually switched to a different lens so i switched to my 50 millimeter sigma and this was giving me what I was looking for. So I was getting a lot of the reflections that I was looking for, still getting a lot of the truck, bringing in some more of that for or the background that I was looking for. So I went through this kind of moving around a little bit, playing with the exposure, playing with turning the lights on and off. And then I wanted to see what it looked like pulled back. And then ultimately, I ended up with this as my final kind of composition of what I was looking for. So it kind of gave me everything. It gave me some good foreground elements here with the plant. It gave me some mid ground with the reflection that I was looking for. It really, everything kind of frames the, the truck where you want it. And it still brings in a lot of those background elements that visually makes the photograph up appealing of course you have a very dramatic sky this was going to be my final image and actually here's what it looks like everything retouched so let's talk about how we got there so let's go here this is the base image straight out of the camera no adjustment so we're going to start adjusting here in Lightroom first. So the first thing is the truck is pretty dark as compared to everything else. This truck is obviously white and it has a lot of black in it. So to balance those two colors is a little bit difficult with just straight out of the camera, no flash, no nothing like that. So the first thing we want to do is I want to bring up the shadows a bit. And you're going to see by bringing up the shadows, we're able to kind of even out some of those tones. The other thing, I think we want to make sure that our white balance is correct and having a white car, it's pretty easy. So go ahead and click on that. Now, I want to make the car the focus point of the photograph. So we want to make sure that that's the brightest element. And you can see up here, this is brighter and this is brighter. So this is really, to me, this is fighting for the attention. So I'm going to grab our radial gradient tool and we're going to pull that out over the truck. We're going to make it nice and big so we can feather that in. And we're going to bring up the exposure just a little bit. And you can see this is going to help clean up some of those whites that got a little bit dingy by opening or opening up the shadows on the previous adjustment that we made. So I think that that's good. I want to add some more drama to the sky. So we're going to pull down a linear gradient and we're going to go just at the top of the truck and we're going to zero everything out and we're going to bring the exposure of that down quite a bit. So again, we want to add some drama to the sky. It's a storm and again, this helps make make the car the focus point. And we also might add some clarity to that. All right, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do give that same treatment to the bottom, maybe not as dramatic as that. So maybe we'll pull that exposure back. 
but we do want that to be a little bit darker than what it is. Overall, those adjustments made a big, a big change. So if we look at what it looked like before, so that's, that's with the adjustments and that's before. So I'm actually really happy with that. One thing that I don't necessarily like that I think we should try to fix is these lights in person are really amber. They're really orange and um, they actually got a little bit washed out. So we can come down here to our HSL slider and let's go to our orange. Let's go to our saturation and let's go ahead and bump that up a bit. And you can see that's bringing back some of that orange. The other thing you can do if you want to do the same thing with the tail lights is we can bump up the saturation in the reds. And this works because there's not really any red or orange in the rest of the image. You have some red here, you have red here, down here, it really helped out. And same thing with the orange, you have some orange here, you have some orange in the flowers back here, but that's really, that's really all you're going to see there. So honestly, like, for quick adjustments, you know, two minutes in Lightroom, I'm very, very happy with this image. If we look at this compared to the final photo, I went into Photoshop and changed some things. Uh, I made this front window a little bit darker. I got rid of the light reflection here. And I also added a little bit of haze to the blacks. So let's jump into Photoshop really fast and I'll show you how to do that. So we're just going to right click. We're going to click edit in, open in Adobe Photoshop. Give Photoshop a second to launch. And here we are in Photoshop. All right. So now that we're zoomed in on the window, we're going to make a new layer. So let's come down here, click that new layer. We're going to go in a little bit further and we're going to grab our pen tool. So over here on the side, and then we're just going to trace out this window really quickly. Doesn't need to be super, super accurate. We're just going to follow around that dark edge because we're going to make this window darker. And we'll just come down here. Quickly come around the edge. If you don't want that point, so you can you can click option, click on the point. If you don't want the auto shape that it's going to draw, come straight down. Again, not being super accurate with this. We'll just come right around the side and finish that. We will right click, click make selection. Let's feather it one pixel. And then we're just gonna fill that with black. So over here in our default colors, we're just gonna switch that to black. Option or Alt Delete, Command D to get rid of that. And then we'll come down here and do the same thing with this bottom part. Again, make selection, same deal. Fill that with black. And now we're just gonna change that opacity. So we're gonna bring that opacity way down. So you can see just added some, let's make it match that back window. So one issue we have here, if we're trying to make this look as real as possible is we filled this with pure black. And as you can see, we can do one of two things. We can either make this back window darker to match this, or we can add maybe a little bit of blue to this window just to help hide the fact that we made it a little bit darker. So one thing that we can do is we can double click on this and get our layer styles. And this is an easy way to quickly adjust the color. We can go up here to color overlay. If we click on that, click the checkbox and then click in there, you can go in here and you can select some colors. So let's say we wanna add some more blue and we want to see what that looks like. Now, if we add a blue like that, that's way too much. So we just need a darker color that has a little bit of blue tones in it to try to help match that as best as we can. I feel like that's probably a little bit better. 
So if we zoom out, then it's less noticeable. But you can see, kind of made that more in line with this back window here. Get rid of this little light reflection. I don't think it looks super great. And I think that we can just get rid of that with a quick little patch tool. If we did that on the right layer. So let's just bring that over, see what this looks like. And then we can probably do that one more time. Just get rid of that. Again, we're not trying to be super detailed here. This is just kind of a quick little retouch. Command D. Um, we can probably do the same thing in here. Just get rid of this little guy. And then up here, keeping that same black trim there. Maybe that one wasn't so great. That looks pretty good. And let's see if we can get rid of this little hot spot here. That will look terrible. Good. All right, so we got rid of those two things and made the window a little bit darker. That matches the image. And then the last thing I did is I went up here to Selective Color. And now what Selective Color does is it allows you to adjust the individual colors in the image. And it allows you to change the amount of colors or color cast within there. So what I did is I went down to the blacks and I made the blacks less black. So if you can see in here, this is really dark black. So if I make less blacks, you can see it starts getting a little kind of washed out. And if you really push this, you can see it starts making that haze. So I just want to open that up just a little bit. I kind of like the way it looks. I like that. I like the effect that it gives it. So again, don't overdo this. Just bring that value down just a bit. And I think that's our final image. So let's just go ahead and flatten this and then we'll save it and we'll see how it compares to the original image that we did. So going back over to Lightroom, this is the image that we just did. And this is the original image. So it looks like I may have went a little bit heavy with that adjustment. So if we wanted to bring that back, we can come back in here to Lightroom. If we wanted to make it match exactly, we could bring those blacks down a little bit. And it also looks like I may have put a little bit of a vignette on. So if we come down here to the bottom, post crop vignette, just pull that in a little bit. And now we should be pretty close. Not too bad. So just wanted to do a quick little video, show you a the new truck, show you a quick little photo shoot that I did with it. A little bit of Lightroom work, a little bit of Photoshop work, nothing super in depth. Hopefully I can make these videos a little bit more frequent occurrence uh, from now on. But if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, until next time, take care.